Parker. Set. Background. And action. I can't believe you're passing up a semester in Oslo. I know. The fish. The fjords. This midnight sun. I know that art is my passion, and there's nothing I'd enjoy more than spending a semester in the land of Edvard Munch. But I just can't stand the thought of being away from Stone for that long. If he loves you, he'll be here when you get back. Or are you afraid you'll fall in love with some hot liking? Or that I might steal your bedroom. <laughs> no. I don't even want to give voice to my true fears. Becky, what is it? I think Stone's having an affair. Again? Why would you think that? Courtney! Courtney! Uh, excuse me, sir. You'll have to step back. Relax. I just want to tell her I'm here. Like... Suspicious person heading to the set? Possible stalker? Hey, Courtney! Cut! Cut! Courtney! Hey. Hey. Let's get this guy! Hey. I drive all the way from Tempe, and this is the welcome I get. I am so sorry. They were just trying to be protective. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. I hope this thing doesn't swell. It looks okay. Come here. Mm. Get around! That's cute! <laughs> uh, hi, excuse me. Mm. Hi. Deegan? Rob Fields. Rob is our executive producer. Listen, I just want to tell you how sorry I am. A couple of our girls have had stalkers, or our crew has been trained to be very vigilant, or strangers are concerned. I mean, if we only knew you were coming. It's no problem. I'm just glad to see you're taking such good care of my court. Yes, of course. Very good care. So, um, Court, if everything's okay, we're ready for you on the set. Mm. Well, this has been a fun visit. Sweetie, I won't be that long. Hey, people, let's get back to one. Back to one, people. Can't make up last look. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. I was beginning to wonder if he really existed. Oh, he's real, all right. I've been trying to get him to visit for months. It's just hard to tear him away from work. The sports trophy business is very deadline intensive. Sports trophy business? Deeg's family is the top producer of golf, tennis, and varsity trophies in the Southwest. Oh, my God. This is very confidential, but while he's out here, he's taking meetings with some of the top country club people in Los Angeles. My lips are sealed. That sounds like a very lucrative market. Oh, you have no idea. And if things go well, maybe he'll even think about moving here. <laughs> okay, guys, listen to this. Dear Johnny, a date with you would fulfill every fantasy in my young life. Not only are you the most sensitive and intelligent man I've ever seen, but also the dreamiest. Johnny, if you're reading this, I think you're sexier than Freddie Prince Jr. and cooler than Ryan Phillippe. I know it's only a matter of time before you're a bigger movie star than either one of them. I hope you know that Gross Point would be nothing without you. Your devoted fan, Leslie Bix. <laughs> Let me see your picture. It's an essay contest. They don't send you pictures. Let me tell you something. I did a win a date with Quentin contest last year. The chick was so hot. They call it an essay contest, but believe me, they weed out the farm animals in advance. How old was she? 14. Dude, please tell me you didn't. Nah, they sent a chaperone along to make sure nothing happens. Not that I would have, I mean, with a 14-year-old, but, you know, we're keeping in touch. I mean, she won't be 14 forever. Johnny, Quentin, Dave, I want you to meet my boyfriend, Deegan. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. You're a lucky guy. Oh, that's sweet. I'd say we're both lucky. Oh. So I hope you told him about our little scene this afternoon. Oh, yeah. My character, Laura, and Quentin's character, Stone, share a forbidden kiss in the school hallway. <laughs> I thought you already had a girlfriend on the show. Right, that would be Laura's first cousin, Becky, but now we're starting to get it on behind her back. Well, that's pretty reprehensible. Yeah, well, it's TV. Anyway, I'm gonna take Deeg on a tour of the set. That's great, huh? but let's make it a quick one. I'm only here for two days. I would like to check out the Universal Studios tour. Okay. Uh, dude, what does she see in that guy? I hear his family are big muckety mucks in the sports trophy business. Hey, dude, can you help me carry this to Hunter's trailer? No way, man. I'm not her Sherpa. Thanks, dude. 
Great. I appreciate it. That's great. I just do it all myself. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. This is sweet. No problem. Oh, and I need windshield wiper fluid and gas. Yeah, that's all. Um, okay. Hold it. Hold, wait a second. Hunter, you cannot use Kevin to run personal errands. He is a production assistant. All right, he's got responsibilities. Uh, he likes doing things for me. Well, it's not his job. If you need help, hire yourself a personal assistant. Well, look, I don't want to see this again. Listen, I need you to run down to Rexall and pick up my Xanax. Okay? And to grab me some Tanaxin while you're at it. What? I hear you're in the market for a personal assistant. Don't you have to stand in for Johnny? Yeah, but I have like hours of non-standing free time every day. So what's the pay? Well, let me see. I pay my dog walker 20 bucks an hour, but you won't have to pick up poop, so like 15? Done. OK. I need windshield wiper fluid and gas and wheatgrass juice. Your wish is my command. I wish my wheatgrass juice was already here. Hey, Johnny, have you met Courtney's boyfriend yet? Yeah, what a jerk. What do you mean? I just don't think he treats her right. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that you're jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous. It's just that he's conceited, that's all. He's conceited? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Johnny! Hi, Roberta Schrager, Teen Talk. Oh, this is such a thrill. Oh, my God. Marcy Sternfeld. Love. <laughs> so, uh, where's Leslie? Okay, before I introduce you to the winner of the Win a Date with Johnny contest, I just want to reiterate, this is an essay contest, not a beauty pageant, and that Teen Talk does not discriminate on the basis of race, nationality, or gender. Johnny, I want you to meet Leslie Bix who flew all the way from Scranton, Pennsylvania, just to be here today. I don't, I don't get it. Where's the winner? Johnny, he is the winner. But he's a dude. Oh, my god. Thank you, Gene Talk. Oh, sure. <laughs> OK, these are the appointments you need to schedule for this week. My trainer, Pilates, the salon for my hair tinting and brows. You need to pick up the tickets for that charity event I need to go to and call my publicist to hook me up with a date. Ow. Shoes give me nasty blisters. Get them polished so I can wear them tomorrow night. Why do you want to wear them again if they gave you blisters? Because they make my calves look good. I hope they commute your sentence, love Hunter Fallow. I don't know why I bother. It's not like any of them have a Nielsen box. Wow. Your life seems like nothing but work and torture. Don't you ever take out time for yourself? Thanks, but I already have a shrink. Wednesdays at 4. Oh, yeah. And Thursdays at 11. <laughs> That's hypnotherapy, dummy. <laughs> Scene 5, take 2, marker. Okay, background. Background. And action. <sighs> Becky? No, not Becky. What are you doing? Becky's locker's like five feet away. Good. I hope she sees us. <sighs> Baby, you got the wrong idea about us. Don't I? I know the way you look at me, the way you think about me, the things you want to do to me. I'm like a witch that way. I also know there's nothing more important to you than getting respectable. You dream with your heart, but you think with your wallet. And there's no way your heart's gonna let you choose Becky's white trash first cousin over her family's money. You got me all wrong. I love Becky. Not her family. Not her money. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And we'll just call this a goodbye kiss. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go wish my cousin Becky Farville. And cut. We've got cutting. Extra. That's 
So what'd you think? Well, I think it all looks kind of fake. Fake? How, how does it look fake? Come here, I'll show you. So how'd I do? Well, you were great, honey. I just want to show Rob something. Now remember, she's just my make-believe lady. Don't let it get to you. This is what I was talking about. Some of these trophies are like from another era. You've got one in here for bowling, and that's not even a varsity sport. Hmm, I, I never noticed that. <laughs> and look, this one looks like a hood ornament on a marble base. It is a hood ornament on a marble base. <laughs> Man, how lame. Okay, well, this is something we're gonna have to pay attention to. I can set you up, no problem. Just let me know what you need. Will do. Listen, honey, I've gotta leave. I'm meeting the Long Beach Little League Commissioner at two. They practically give a trophy to any little kid that doesn't wet his pants. It's a GD <laughs> gold mine. Man, what a bitchin' dude. There's no way I'm going out with the heat. Johnny, he's a fan, and besides, it took a lot of guts to enter that contest. He said his name was Leslie. Yeah, Leslie can be a boy's name, too. And I don't even want to think about that letter he sent me. Johnny, get over yourself. This isn't about you, this is about him. Look, you've got to show him a good time. No way, Jose. Listen, Johnny, that little boy obviously has a huge crush on you, and I will not stand by and let you hurt him. Like, he's not only a person with feelings, he is a contest winner, and you are going out with him if I have to be there myself. Okay, so I got you booked at Ola Hendrickson tomorrow at 8 for a facial, which should give you time to get to Ashtanga by 9.30. Okay, never book my facial before my yoga. Got it. And your fitting for the teen people shoot has been changed to Wednesday at 3, contingent on your production schedule, and your agent called and canceled for dinner. Mm, great. Gwyneth must be in town. What do I have instead? Um, nothing. Oh, well, then I'll just stay home and work on my lines for tomorrow. Actually, you're not working tomorrow. Oh. Hmm. Why don't you call a friend and go see a movie or something? I'm not really in the mood to hang out with Marcy tonight. So why don't you call some other friend? Anyway, it's difficult for me to go out in public. I get harassed. You could come with me. Cool. Okay, sure. I wrap at seven. Cool. And take this cashew butter back to the store and get a refund. Yeah, but you already ate half of it. It was rancid. It really doesn't matter. Johnny's ice hockey jersey, isn't it? Uh, um, yeah. And oh my god! This is your junior prom dress! <laughs> Very good. So daring of you to go backless. Well, we're always taking chances here with wardrobe. I can tell Johnny's really disappointed his date turned out to be a guy. No, not at all. He loved your essay. I tried knocking on his trailer earlier, but he wouldn't come out. Like, he's probably just taking a nap. I guess it's just not my year. First kicked out of Boy Scouts, now this. <sighs> All my straight guy friends think you have the hottest body on the show. That's so sweet. <gasps> hey, look, it's Courtney Scott. Hey, Courtney. Hey. This is Leslie Bix visiting us all the way from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Wow, nice to meet you, Leslie. So I'm trying to get a group of people together tonight to go out to dinner with Johnny and his date. Do you want to come and bring Deegan? Great idea. I'd love for you guys to all get to spend time with him. Plus, it'll make him realize he'll have a whole new group of friends if he decides to move out here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is so cool. I can't believe you're all having dinner with me. So, do you, uh, like, have a girlfriend at home? Oh, I used to, but whenever I kiss her, I'd think of you. <laughs> Just kidding. I guess my last real girlfriend was fifth grade. Dude, she must have hurt you really bad, huh? Hey, Johnny, has Leslie shown you his Becky invitation? No, not really. Do it, Leslie. Okay. Thank you, Stone, for making me finally understand what it feels like to be 
like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty good. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Man, did I just have a lousy day. Those Little League people, they wouldn't know a first-class trophy if it fell into their catcher's mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you should set your sights higher, man. This town is trophy crazy. I mean, every week it's another award show. But sports has always been our bedrock. Change is good. If you move to L.A., you could really expand the business. Yeah, I'm sure you do great out here. Hey, I bet you could even spill over into the commemorative ribbon business. You know, AIDS awareness, breast cancer. You can't make money on ribbons. I think ribbons on evening wear is tacky anyways. People! Leave the guy alone. What are you trying to push him out here for? LA is crowded enough. I agree. I couldn't even deal with the traffic, let alone the smog. Well, you get used to it. Yeah, you learn not to breathe so deeply. Excuse me. You're forgetting one advantage to living in LA. Me. This is where my career is. Career. Come on. You'll get over the acting bug. I wanna be the one you call your love. Do you like the movie? Except for the fact that Winona Ryder has my career, it wasn't bad. Hey, the whole point of going to a movie is to forget about your life for a couple hours. Yeah, well, it's tough when you're in the business. Well, let's do something else then, like grab an ice cream sundae or ride a roller coaster. Or play putt-putt golf. Putt-putt? Are you serious? Yeah. Hunter, you gotta learn to unwind. I mean, you got all these great things happening for you, but you're like too stressed out to even notice. And putt-putt is my solution? Well, it's a start. You're just a goofball. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure, let's go. But if you tell anyone, I'll kill you. Dude, can I drive? I'm gonna find a way to scale your walls. I, I can't believe I'm getting paid to drive a Porsche. <laughs> Nice try, hon. You're off the clock. What I really want to do, my grand scheme, is to open a sports trophy museum in Tempe. Man, what a bold idea. Tempe is a great town. It just needs something of that kind of caliber to put it on the map. When you're ready for investors, give me a call. You should really come check it out sometime. It's not what you think. No, I'm sure it'll confound my expectations. Okay, true story. My mom found out I was gay when she saw a poster of you on my bedroom wall. <laughs> no way. For the longest time, I pretended to have this big crush on Jennifer Love Hewitt that I just couldn't keep living a lie. Third, I know what you mean. One year, I had to take it to this award show and pretend to like her, too. Oh, God. Excuse me. Bathroom? Uh, that way, too, right? Please. I'll be right back. So, I wonder if that guy goes standing up or sitting down. Deegan, that's rude. You shouldn't say things like that. I'm sorry. Kid's a fruitcake. I was just pointing that out. Dude, you're the fruitcake. Yeah, Deegan, you really shouldn't be insulting Johnny's date like that. Well, excuse me if I have a hard time relating with you Hollywood types. Deegan, what is your problem? I was just making a comment. Everyone jumped on my back. Thanks for dinner, all. Oh, so we're leaving? You can stay. I've had a really long day. I'll... See you guys tomorrow. So, I heard you all had quite the lovely evening. Hunter, for once, just do me a favor and shut up. Okay, then. Not as lovely as I thought. Deegan's not moving out here. No. And it looks like we're breaking up. No, you guys have to work through this. People can change. He was just so different. I don't get it. Mm, let's see. Out here, you're a somebody, and he's a nobody. Didn't I just ask her really politely to shut up? Mm-hmm. Now I really do feel all alone. You got me. <laughs> Thanks, Morris. <laughs> hey. I just want to tell you how impressed I was with you last night. What do you mean? The way you handled that kid. You were very sensitive. Thanks. You know, he said he's going to start a whole gay chapter of the Johnny Bishop fan club. That's great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at what they've done for Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I also want to apologize for Deegan's behavior. So yeah, that guy was kind of a creep. Yes, he was. And FYI, we're splitting up. Really? No way. Well, 
Congratulations. Thanks. And the weird part of it is, I'm kind of excited about it.